Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using layouts in Jekyll. Now, layouts are basically just skeletons of HTML code that you can use to define the look and the feel of the different types of pages on your site or just your entire site in general. Now, I just created this new Jekyll site, so I haven't really modified it too much. And inside of here, you'll notice that it kind of looks pretty good, right? The look and the feel of the site is pretty well defined. When I go over here to this post, it's displaying the content really well. You'll see it's uh, displaying pretty good on a small screen size. And actually, by default, Jekyll is using a theme. And a theme has all of the layouts defined inside of it. And so a theme is defining different layouts for different pages. If I go over here to this post folder, we'll open up this blog post that's right here. And up here in the front matter, you'll notice this variable called layout. And it's saying that the layout it wants to use is post. I can also go over to this about page. And inside of this about page, it's defining that same layout variable. But now it's saying that it wants to use the page layout. So the theme on our Jekyll site actually has two files, one called post and one called page which define the layout for the posts and the page on our site. So imagine that instead of using the post layout for this post, the theme gives us, I wanted to create my own. Well, I can actually override the default layouts that I'm given with the Jekyll theme and make them my own. And the way that we do that is by coming over here to our project directory. And I'm going to create a new folder and I'm just going to call it underscore layouts, just like that. Now inside of this layouts folder, I can create any layouts that I want. So I'll make a new file and we're just going to call this post.html. And generally you want to write your layouts in HTML. And now whatever HTML code I put inside of this post.html file, that's what's going to show up whenever I'm on a post page. So let's say I made a header and I said, this is a post. Now, when I refresh this post page over here, you'll see that all it says is just this is a post. So it's just using that header that I created. But if I go back to the home page of the website, it still looks the same. And if I go to that about page, the about page still is using that layout. It's only when I go to this post page that it's using this layout. So once I have my layout defined, you're going to want to be able to grab the content that that's inside of each of your blog posts. And the way that you can do that is by using a special variable. And so you're going to type two open and close curly brackets, just like that. And then you just want to type out content. And what this is going to do is this is going to serve as a placeholder for all of the content that's in the current blog post. So in my case, I'm on this post right here. It's welcome to Jekyll.html and it's in this whole folder structure. So when I refresh this page, it should show me all of the content that's inside of that page. And you'll see that it does, right? So here I have all of the markdown that was used inside of this blog post and it's getting displayed on my file here. So you can insert the content that's in the current post using these open and close curly bracket tags and putting content inside. And this is just like a special variable that will do that for you. So in addition to overriding the post layout, I could also override the page layout. Let's create a new file and we'll just call this page.html. And so now on this page.html, we can make another header. We'll say this is a page and we can basically do something similar. So I will add in this content variable again. And now when we go over to this about page on our website, it's doing the same thing, right? But in here it's saying that it's a page. And so that's kind of how you can override the layouts that are inside of the theme that your Jekyll site's using and make them your own. You can also create your own custom layout. So I can make a new file here <clears throat> and let's make a draft layout. So I'll just call this draft.html and we'll kind of do the same thing. We'll put in a, whoops. This will be like the draft layout. And same thing, we can just add in the content. And I could come over to one of my pages. So for example, if I came over here to this blog post, instead of specifying the layout as post, I could specify the layout as draft. And now this page 
this blog post will use that draft layout. So you can see it's using it right there. So you can define your own custom layouts or you can use these page and these post layouts. And generally when you're using a Jekyll theme, they're gonna be using a, a post and a page layout. But you know, really the naming doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you name it. All that matters is what you put inside of the front matter and you know which determines which layout you're using. Now, in addition to defining just simple layouts like this, I can also define different levels of layouts. So for example, I could have a high level layout and then all of the pages on my site will use that layout and then I can have specific pages on my site use different layouts that'll go inside of it. So let's make a new file here and we'll just call this uh, wrapper.html and this will be like our wrapper layout. So I'm just gonna make a basic HTML skeleton, right? And then inside here, we can just put those content tags and I'm just gonna put some text above here. So we'll just say, whoops, wrapper. And then over here, we'll say wrapper. And actually, I'm going to make some break tags as well. And so now what we can do is we can insert another layout inside of here, depending on the type of page that we're on. So I could come over here to this post layout and I can actually give this some front matter. So I can give this some YAML front matter and I can give it a layout and we'll say that the layout is wrapper, right? And so now when I go over to one of my blog posts and actually I need to configure this to use post. When I go over to this blog post, what you'll see is that it's using this post layout and it's also using this wrapper layout. So we have wrapper up here and then we also have wrapper down here, right? So not only is it using this post layout, but the post layout is getting is well, not only is it using the post layout, but the post layout itself is using wrapper as a layout. So you can make, you know, as many levels of layouts as you want, but what's cool is that I can define this wrapper layout and then over here on this page, I can also say that it's using the wrapper layout. And so now I only have to define like this HTML skeleton one time in my entire website and all of these different pages and posts will use that HTML skeleton, but they'll also display their own type of content um, in like the sub layouts. So that's a basic discussion about layouts in Jekyll. Obviously with layouts, there's a lot of cool things we can do. And inside of these layouts, we can use these special tags, these special open and close curly tags to be able to access like variables, we can loop through data, um, we can use conditionals, we can do all sorts of cool things uh, inside of these layouts. And so if you wanna be able to customize every aspect of your website, you wanna really be able to build like powerful layouts, then uh, you can do stuff like this. And we're gonna talk all about that in future videos. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.